then the question then becomes, again, about proportion. I, I don't disagree that there's been a lot of bad stuff on both sides going back historically for decades. But if we agree that this was on a different level altogether, quite deliberately by Hamas, designed, I, absolutely. designed you know to provoke... I, I'm gonna, designed I'm, to provoke... No, here's my I'm question. Be a... Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. and, and the question... Because the you, question? you raised it earlier about proportion. I honestly don't know what the proportionate response is. Uh, I, yes. I, I honestly don't. I, I don't. I've been watching the airstrikes so this what's week your thinking... So what's your question? Well, I was asked... I would, well, I would ask you, if you were Israel, what would uh, you... If I was Israel. If you were Israel and that had happened to you, what would you uh -huh. think would be the appropriate way for the country to respond? I would do exactly like Israel did, kill as many people as possible since the, the, the world is letting me do it. I mean, I, I can do it because I can. You know, but the thing is, like, you know what? I agree with you. And you know what? I'm going to be even ahead of you because I see the question coming. Do you condemn Hamas for the atrocity? Yes, I condemn Hamas. Mm. I condemn Hamas. I condemn Hamas. Hamas is the source of all evil. They're a reason for everything. And you know what? Let's for a minute imagine a world without Hamas. Right. What will this world look like? Mm. Let's give this world a name and let's name this world the West Bank. Hamas has absolutely no control in the West Bank. And this is the beginning of this street, only through August. 37 Palestinian kids were killed. Mm. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. Since the occupation of the West Bank, 7,000 Palestinians were killed. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. I can go on and on and on and on. No, no, but you about, don't, you don't need to because in a, way, in a way you're preaching to the choir. I've, I've followed this crisis. Oh, no, for... you're not preaching. So the, the, the thing is like... I, well, in the sense I that I know, saying, I know that what you're saying has validity, of course. Of uh, course Pierce, I do. Pierce, by the way, Pierce, 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 I am at a disadvantage here. I can hear you. I cannot see you. Mm. I am in a claustrophobic room. And so please cut, cut me some slack and don't interrupt me and interrupt my point. Sure. So, uh, because this, this, this has to be fair. Understand. Uh, because if you want to only hear your opinion, I can just condemn Hamas and go home. Mm. I can do that. So, if you, do you want to do that or do you have a much more nuanced conversation? No, I absolutely want to have a nuanced conversation. I wasn't aware I was interrupting you. I thought I was letting you speak. Amazing. But... So, let's, I mean, I, mean I, would say, I would say I really applaud Israel for doing one thing that no military force in the world does. Because I heard, I heard Ben Shapiro and I heard Ron DeSantis and they said, they said Israel is the only military force in the world that warns civilians before bombing them. I mean, how fucking cute. That is so nice of them. So, because with this logic, if Russian troops started warning Ukrainians before bombing their houses, we're cool with Putin, right? I mean, okay, Habibi, you have uh, warned them, go invade. It's fine. You have done your job. I mean, the thing is, and I understand, all, and I also heard Ben Shapiro talking about uh, about human shield. So you remember my wife's family, they live in Gaza. So I asked them, I told them, when Israel gives you the nice warning, the cute warning, does Hamas force you to stay in your home so you can be bombed and use a, a, as, as human shield? You know, what, uh, Hassan here, uh, my, my, wife's, uh, my wife's cousin, he's a, he's, a, he's a loser, you know. He, he told me, you know, when I asked him, does that happen? He told me, no. The lying son of a bitch lied to me. I told him, you don't understand. Ben Shapiro and Ron DeSantis keep saying that Israel warns you and Hamas ask you to keep to stay put. So I, 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 I told you, he's a loser. He never kept a job. He even like failed in all of the interviews to become like a human shield. I, I, I would believe right. Ben Shapiro. Let but me let's, ask you this, let, So let's go with that. No, no, no. Let's, no, no. Let me ask but you At some this. point, I must be able to if ask we, you questions. If we, it's not if a monologue agree, for if you, we agree, If we agree, if we agree that for the 14,000 casualties, I mean, who's counting, our human shield, does that mean that every single one of those civilians was standing, obscuring a military target behind them? Because that's a lot of weapons. I mean, Hamas is packing. No, of course it doesn't. It, and look, I, you know... It I doesn't, so, so, there, so there's some collateral damage. Lots of collateral damage. Yes. It's fine, yeah. You kill, you kill some to save some and then kill some more. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I agree. I would, I let agree. me ask you this. Again, it comes back to proportionate response. When the, world, yes. when the world decided it had to get rid of ISIS because of the appalling butchery they were carrying out, uh, yes. it did so by, by also killing, very sadly, a lot of civilians along the way by doing airstrikes yes. against... Places which but killing civilians ISIS are inevitable. So you my, said that in the beginning. My point is once, it's, in, it's inevitable. Yeah, but once inevitable. Israel, we, once we, we, Israel we. has decided that they want to get rid of Hamas mm. and Hamas is embedded with civilian yes. population, 
I'm very concerned about yes. what's going to happen next. I've written a column tonight saying yeah, I absolutely. remember the Iraq and, and the war, which is, I oppose, I, right? I, I, I remember all this. So my question for you is... I know. I, what would, be, what would yeah, you think would be an appropriate response by Israel to what happened? Well, well, the, these are years of disproportionate responses of Israel. Right. Did it solve the solution? Did it solve the problem? Did it, did it work before so it will work? What, what will be the surprise this time? What will be the twist that will make this work this time? What? What will be different this time? 